Um, hello? Sir? No. No. I do. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! Okay. Take me! Wait, hold on. I've broken the game! Oh shit. Radio, please! Just turn it off! Just turn the radio off! Beep! 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 You're driving unbelievably slowly. <laughs> oh! My! Oh! 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 The coffee was spiked. All the controls are inverted. My camera is inverted. Can we just comment on the fact that somebody just walked into my closet, please? There's somebody leaving my room! Are you blind? Wait, lady. Oh! Oh! I said I need bleach. I have a carrot peeler and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> don't run me over, don't run me over, don't run me over. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you don't mind. I'm just practicing my opera singing. <laughs> Can you stop singing, please? No, no, no. I'm gonna fucking strangle him. Oh, that is scary. God, I'm sweating, bro. <gasps> no. It's not funny anymore. This game isn't funny anymore. <laughs> no fucking way. I can hear his phone. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god. Ah! Oh! I can't! Oh! This game sucks, man! Oh! oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ah! 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 GDM. Welcome to the cosy and yet slightly unsettling home that is the Tapzat Games channel. If you're new here, I do hope you enjoyed my little compilation of the last three episodes of this game. If you haven't seen those yet, honestly, it doesn't really matter, because the stories don't follow on from each other anyway. All it means is that if you end up enjoying this one, you have three more of identical quality to go and watch and have a little horror binging session. Anyway, let's get back into the moment. You're about to watch my playthrough of Fears to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. Hope you enjoy, like if you do. Let's go. Okay, I am unbelievably excited for this game. Like, you have, <laughs> you have no fucking idea. I, li I promised, I don't know when I said, but I promised I was going to play this game like the second it came out. I could have recorded it, I, well, I wanted to record it yesterday, but I couldn't because I had shit to do. So instead, we're recording it today, Jacksepticeye already has a video out on it, but I don't really care. Episodes. Episode playtime two hours, oh god. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me turn up my game, let me turn up my game. I am so ready, it's not even funny. These games, I, I love these games. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Hey, I noticed you were requesting some submissions while I was watching a YouTube play, f YouTube play Fierce to Fathom Carson House. Uh, what I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at that time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help him might help me process my memories of it. Okay. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dump idea. But a dump idea? A dumb idea because people would say I was lying. Yeah. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. Okay. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a little financial with a lot of financial help from my dad. Okay. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out of my RV and liked travelling. I said a few goodbyes and was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. That's the end of that. Oh! We're in. Whoa! Look at this. Nice little car. Oh shit. Let me just step away from it because I can't concentrate hearing that. Oh. Oh, this is cool. I can already see, I can feel some like messed up shit potentially happening here. Okay, you'll probably see Billy at the gate to show me your ID. Sorted. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? I don't know. Okay, here we go. I live a very solitary life. Okay. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. Oh, another car. I'm not gonna kill myself this time like I did last time. That was a terrible idea. I always love the great outdoors. Fair enough. Ooh, but just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. 
It sounds like a great life. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, I remember there's a, this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I can really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Okay, so we're off to a burger place. I saw the diner Kayla was on. Are we stopping there? I was breaking so hard. I love this about these games. You suddenly become way more aware of the ambience when you step out of a car or go outside or something. Excuse me! What the fuck are you doing? How's that burger? This little piece of heaven? That place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Uh, I'm a new... Uh, that's too much information. I'm just passing through. Have a safe journey. Thank you. Ew. What the fuck? Uh, excuse me. Oh, okay. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Not too bad. Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Uh, look at the menu as well. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Absolutely. Obviously the burger. Aha! Our burger is the best thing in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Fruit slushy, absolutely not. Coffee, no. I'll just go large cook. That'll be all, thank you. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. That's... Am I peeing then? Let's go pee. Can I change the song? <gasps> you can! What the fuck? <laughs> That's mad. Med? Mad. I really had to pee. I'm sure you did. Whee! I spilled. I did. How much do you pee? Okay, thank you. Fucking hell. Why am I drying my hands? I didn't even wash them yet. What the fuck? <laughs> that's what I do. That's the that's the order that I do things. I dry my hands and then wash them, you know? You just gotta bake that piss on your hands right in there. Why does that guy look terrifying? <coughs> Waiter! Oh. Uh, thank you. You can walk a bit faster though, you think. <coughs> Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I check? Get the check. Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Can Kayla shut the fuck up and try to enjoy a meal? Uh, this food reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe we were talking about. I might get the chance to immerse myself in the arts of cuisine. In the new lookout. Wow, yes! I'm on my way home! Send you in a bit! I don't know why I, I gave her that voice, but it's fine. <coughs> should I give this person a voice? Here's check, love. It's all, all six quid. I'm poor. Uh, no, we'll give you a tip. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. Not, you're welcome. Just, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't leave that open, did I? Did I leave it open? Oh, shut the fuck up. Did I leave... Oh my god! No, no, no. Why is it already scary? Oh my god. The bathroom door was strangely- No! Stop it! I'm not dealing with this and right, it's literally just started. Surely this guy saw. Surely this guy saw. What news? A few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they've got lost, but a lot of people around, the, around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or Goatman. People say there's something like that living in the forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. What? Some of them never come back. What was that noise? Who's in my van? I don't want to play this game! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine! There's not someone in my van. It just so happens that one of the doors, the only door in my entire van, is jammed and the front door was wide open. It's just a coincidence. 8.02 p.m., okay. I want to include the location of this park. Okay. What, so I can go there in real life? Tap that game's vlog. But I don't want anyone else seeking the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Do I need to stop there? I don't know where I'm going. I drove past the trail at first. Should I have? I should have taken it. I'm not a good driver, okay? I literally just got my, like, not even a joke. Two days ago, I passed my driving test. <laughs> Stop hitting, I'm, okay. Can you tell I'm a driver? Can you tell I'm a legal driver? I swear I've got no common sense in these games. Can I turn off the radio please? Because that's really annoying. Oh, you can. We're in the thick of it now. There's no going back. Let's just go, do not enter, fuck you. I'm a rebel. 
Oh no. <laughs> I'm not ready. Ah! Oh my god! Is there a need? Stupid cunt, you scared me! What do you mean? Okay, no, no, we need to give this guy. <laughs> Let me just. Oh. We need to give this guy a fitting voice. Holy moly! You scared me. No, that's really bad. <laughs> okay, no, I'm sticking with it, whatever. Holy moly! You scared me! I thought you were one of them. One of who? Hey, Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transfer file account. Is that correct? I didn't know they were hiring this season. Jesus Christ, man. Also, he's now talking about- ah! Oh my- <laughs> For fuck's sake, man, I'm not ready for this. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at the fire tower at 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that tower would have been left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Let me open that trail gate for you. Uh, <laughs> this guy. That was not normal. Since you're arriving this late, you might have also need this flashlight for a long hike to your, to, to your lookout. I thought I might need one. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. That was a terrible accent. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your stabbing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your close closest contact in case of an emergency. Thank you, Billy. Oh. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile out north of your tower. Why? Why? Dangerous woods past that, pal. Bay Bob got some bears. Nasty business. Okay. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Uh, foot trail. No bikes, only horses. Stay on the trail. Yeah, it's a foot trail. So no, we leave. We leave thing. I left my bag in the. Oh, fuck's sake! You could have said that ten minutes. I don't like that the bathroom door is strangely jammed. What if I need to shit? I heard footsteps. I heard footsteps. 11.32 p.m. Good job, I'm outside in the fucking woods then. It was a long hike and I'm starting to get cold now. All right, okay. Closest tower, tower 11. Frequency, whatever. Is that my tower? What does that say? I am back. Tower 11 or the Lacey Trail or Gold Creek Trail. Let's go, just, let's just go to my tower. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. I don't know if I'd mind it that much, to be honest. I think I'd- oh. Okay. Guarantee you, someone is in this tower right now and I'm about to get jump scared. I'm settling in, getting ready to be alone for the next few weeks. But oh no, there's someone in my house! Bah! Oh. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood. Give me a sec- You're in the forest, man. What do you think it's gonna smell like? I was finally in the new home for the next few weeks. Okay. Right, can I put all this shit down? There we go. On, on the fucking stove, that's that's how to start a fire, 101. Uh, lights out after 12pm, supply drops are handed out every- Wait, do I need to actually do that? What time is it? Okay, it's not moving, but it's half 11. Um, binoculars. Oh, God. Okay, what's it say? Password is Ironbark Tower Number. Ironbark 11, okay. Yay! This looks like the most modern computer uh, money can buy. Doo -doo. Service reporting. Temperature in Fahrenheit. Oh. What the fuck? New guy. I haven't gotten oh. your name yet. What is it again? Voice acting? I'm am I Jack? Who's this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Sorry oh. your light turn on. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. This is cool. <laughs> Fucking voice acting at the game. You got a fire going? No. Nope. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Have I got a fire oh, I do have a fireplace. Okay. Uh, right mouse wants to open or close. No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Wood. Okay, let me see. Actually, actually, actually. Let's plan this out. We need this. Oh my god. Oh, look at this shit, man. There's gonna be so many. Okay, there's gonna be so many like Easter eggs and shit to see in the distance. Oh yeah, that's his tower. Hello. Wait, what's it called? I've already forgotten his name. 
There's gonna be somebody on the stairs, There's gonna be somebody on the stairs, There's gonna be somebody on the stairs. I'm ready to face anything! I only need one. Oh! I have gasoline. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm, I'm literally about to... I'm about to light my house on the fire. Um... Okay. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Nice okay. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? You better get to it then. Here at Iron Park, you are required to report every night before signing off. How do I do that? What temp- what's the temperature? Oh, wind speed. I think. 19 knots. I think it actually is wind speed. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wind speed. In knots, yeah. 19. Uh, number of hikers assisted, zero. Temperature in Fahrenheit, I'm not sure. Oh, there's some kind of instruction video. Employee training. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. What? If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say... Wait. Congratulations! You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. This is fucking Jack Sepsky. You can keep it that way for many years to come. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout. Can you just tell me how to do the job, please? Keep records of daily temperature. How? How do I check the weather conditions? Just tell me how to figure out the weather conditions. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. You're missing one. But how do I look at the weather? 45.2! You just click on it! You just read it! Clear. Jesus Christ, man. Ah! Oh my god. Do you copy, new guy? Uh, yes. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Okay. Tower 12, signing off. Oh, okay. Don't want the bed bugs bite. Why would you say that? There's literally bed bugs in France right now, and they're in the UK now. You've just made me really anxious, actually. Can I go to bed now? Yes, I can. Okay, do we turn the lights off? Oh my god, that's scary. Night night! It's gonna be like 2 a.m. in the morning. I heard some scary noise. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> unintelligible. Oh god, unintelligible. Is it unintel. What's with the. What's with the ambience? Connor? Oh! You had to pee at three in the morning. How convenient. I love that. Give me a strange fit. You know, I wonder why. I don't know why this place would give you a strange feeling because honestly, for me, it's a really comforting and lovely vibe. You know, I just feel really at home here and I don't feel like I'm gonna be murdered at any second. I'm just gonna pee off the balcony. <laughs> what the fuck? Get peed on! There's somebody down there, like, putting the hand out, like, what the fuck is it raining right now? Whee! Okay, space to get back. I'm gonna get pushed off the edge if that happens again. Okay, at least it didn't let me go down. Can that wolf chill out, please? Okay, anyway, that was fun. I'm going back to sleep. Oh, look at that. Oh, Tower 12's awake. Take a photo, hell yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely gonna notice something very weird about this uh, later on. Ah. Ah. Oh, we're taking another photo. Oh no. As cool as that is, that is definitely an opportunity to like, see some spooky shit. Get off. Get off what? I don't want to get off, that's a bit weird. <laughs> no, we don't have dirty minds here. We only have highbrow hey, humour. Oh. Uh, what's Son up? Of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Let me have a look. The smoke north of my position. Well, let me figure out what's in... There we go. North of my position is... Yes, I do. The smirk was white. Indicative of a campfire. Can you just give me a second, please? Spot that white smoke up north? Yeah! Not a registered campsite. Oh my god. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Absolute fucking idiots. Am I checking it out? Absolutely. Actually, a compass would probably be smarter, because then I can see which way I came from. No, you can see the tower from here. 
it, surely. Can I just, like, walk through the woods anywhere I want? Or do I need to stay on the trail? Lacy Trail, right? Yeah, Lacy Trail, 3.2 miles. Jesus, man. We know how to deal with these things. 8.37 p.m. Okay. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Um. Are you okay? Sir! Sir, it literally says no camping, you stupid... She gives the best head. What the fuck, bro? Alright, dude. What the flip? Are you okay? Sir? Okay, let me put this down. Someone's whistling. Hey! Hey! Who's there? Show yourself! Should I put out the fire? I had to put it out with 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 what? With what? I had to get water. Oh yeah. There we go. Any bears wanna jump scare me? Cause I can feel one brewing. Oh, you bastard! It's gonna make me walk all the way back. As I hiked back to the tower through the Oh god, something happened. I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. Yes, because something is terribly wrong. I'm playing a horror game. This is fine. Nothing wrong here. I don't like that there's walls and like floorboards on the side of here because that means if somebody's standing on the stairs. Oh, don't do that, man. Right as you get there. So... Watch this. Connor in 3, 2, 1. Now. Oh. Connor 12. Do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. Okay. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first. What's your status? Some hot what, Connor? Are you okay. kidding me? Son of a bitch. Yep. They never learn, do they? No, they don't. This has been happening a lot. This is the third time this month alone. Mention scream, scream, absolutely. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady. This time. was a screaming man. Oh, yeah, I said. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. About a month ago, they were hiking with their families, went off the trail, and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with the campers? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. Some whistle. Okay, well now you've just set me up, haven't you? Because I'm just going to hear a whistle. Wait. I already did hear a whistle. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! I'm not ready. I heard a whistle earlier. The area might be haunted by some entities. Okay. I believe them. All right. It's crazy, I know. It's not crazy. These rumors would scare people off, but... Apparently, it's been the opposite. Yeah, because people are retards and they want to die. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. I, uh, why? Well, <sighs> Sorry, I'm, just, I'm checking behind me because I'm actually on edge. <laughs> I'm recording this like during the day, but I've got my window, my blinds closed because it's so scary. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely Great. not. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. Well, that was fun. And now there's somebody standing outside my window. I mean, let's be honest, if there's, like, some teenage knobs walking around the forest, they're gonna see this tower and be like, Oh, let's go fuck with this guy. Like, you, you, I can't oh, I haven't read any messages, I'm so sorry. Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh my god, it's just not delivered. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Ooh, recipe, okay. For you viewers at home, pizza pasta bake. Ingredients, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Instructions, place all the ingredients in a casserole, bake them at 420 degrees, probably Fahrenheit, bake for 35 to 40 minutes, and enjoy. Plus an X. And then I said, looking at the photo that makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Oh, am I cooking? Pasta. Oh, I've got a thing there. Right, yeah, of course it's a casserole. Uh, I forgot what it was. Marinara sauce and pepperoni. That's marinara, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not American, man. Aren't I? Yes. Okay, close that. So, mozzarella cheese and diced tomatoes. Mozzarella. Tipo for la campana. My Italian accent is a bit of shit. Let's go. Sliced ham, whatever that is. Baked beans. Baked beans. Um, eggs. Those. I don't have any diced tomato. Oh, that says salmon. That says salmon. It's all salmon. Why have you got so much fish, bro? What the fuck? Where are my tomatoes? Have I got like a fruit bowl or a. Oh, is it one of these? Literally the only thing I didn't cook. Okay, now I put this in the microwave. Oh, shit. My casserole. Put it in the oven. Obviously. Okay, that's the same oven sound from the first game, and it's giving me PTSD because I had some. Uh, there? Jeez, Connor. Bit of a warning first, please. Just reported their ass to the authorities. Oh. Cool. 
Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. I guarantee there's going to be like a news report or something in the morning talking about some missing kids. Like they're going to go missing as well. Only 17 knots today. Interesting. Interesting. Have we got any, any campfires? Any disturbances? Uh, not by the looks of it. So we got 17 knots. 47.9. Okay. 17 knots. 47.9 degrees. Number of hikers assisted, zero. Yay! Yay! I like to eating it in bed. What if you get casserole when you do that? What are you gonna do then? Ugh. Okay, someone's, someone's gonna happen while I'm eating. Just a heads up, by the way. I'm just preparing you mentally for, for what's about to happen, because I know these games too well. I was already full. Well, no shit, you've just eaten a fucking half a casserole. Radio off. Okay, that's really great ambience when I'm about to go to sleep. Oh yeah, the stove, of course. Oh shit, I need more wood. Just in case it opens again when I'm back. I know for a fact that I have closed it. Oh, but the thing about this game is it makes you feel uneasy the whole time. All these games, I should say, like all of Rails games. It makes you feel uneasy, but it gets you to do these things. Fuck off! It's fine, ignore it. It gets you to do these things, like, routinely. And just makes them slightly uneasy, like, slightly unnerving. You get a little bit antsy, but you sort of, like, feel like they're a fail- like a safe place. Like, you do them so many times and nothing happens, you're like, oh, okay, it's fine. When I'm in my house, nothing happens. I just report the weather, I do these nice routinely things, and then I get into bed. But then, the second you even feel slightly safe, and slightly, like, it's just a routine thing, and every time you do it, you're fine. They throw some shit at you. Oh, but yeah, one of the times that I go down there... I mean, even just then, there was footsteps. But one of the times I go down there, something really bad's gonna happen. Oh, God. Let's go to bed. Oh, my God, man. Don't be 3 a.m. It's gonna be 3 a.m. Yeah. See what I mean? It does these routine. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Okay, well, nothing's gonna happen until I get up. So let's just accept what happens. Oh my god. The thing is, I know these games have been dramatized, like the story that this guy told to Rail to get him to make a game about it. That wasn't actually a fucking evil horned monster. I'm gonna need to leave. Let's just take it as it comes. Oh shit, man. Okay, well in reality, in reality that's just a nerdy kid, like, try to stress me out and like troll me or something. Are you telling me that my door is not already locked? No, it won't. Good night, Connor. Connor did yes, he didn't make any sense, did he? Because Connor's probably teaming with the monster thing. Next day I woke up not being sure if I was late, if last night was real or just a dream. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 PM? Where did the day go? My paranoia for these woods only grew after the last night, which led me to extra be extra vigilant moving forward. Okay, that's fair. It wants me to spot something, doesn't it? Bro, I'm shitting it right now. Oh, I can clean it. I was gonna say, I couldn't see anything. Whoa. Flare? Do I need to talk Hello? to- Hello? Oh my! Is anyone there? Connor! I, I need help! Can anyone hear me? This is oh. Jack 12. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm- I'm really starting to freak out. What's going I, on? I don't even know where to start. I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. He's gonna mention some whistling, watch this. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. 
Uh, do you remember any landmark? Which direction are you facing? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? What is this ambience doing? I don't know where I am. I only just moved here. So he's going west. Because he remember going, he's going west. Going north is bad. He's he's facing west, so right is north. So he needs to go left to get away from the north. Yeah, that's not I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't okay. have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. I'm right here. What do you mean? I hear you. Whoa. I hear your whistles. Uh, that's not what? me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Fuck off. Fuck off. Give me the best break. Fuck off! Oh my god, man. What took you so long? Don't question why I'm pointing some bad spray at you. I've just been knocking for hours. No, you weren't. I was asked to check in on you. Where were you up to, pal? Uh, I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May God be merciful. Alright then. Uh, got your tower supplies here. Just use the essentials. Oh, just the usual essentials. Wait, no, he's got a voice, hasn't he? <coughs> Sorry. Here you go. I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. What were you doing there last night? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods ain't normal and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. <laughs> Like me. <laughs> no, not to mention you'd be at quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing things you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Um, uh, mention the school. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? You know it's best we don't put on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Okay, well, don't go, Lord have mercy, and then just, fuck, like, pretend nothing happened. Okay. That's crucial information. I didn't know the stairs were on this wall. Now we know. If something's coming upstairs, look here. 54.1, 25. Okay. Wind speed's 25. The number of hikes assisted one wind. Yay! Uh, can I eat some more casserole? The food was cold. Oh, do I need to heat it up? Oh no, that's microwave. Look at that! I know it's like a small thing, but just like the intuitiveness of this game. Like, you understand that you should eat before you go to bed because it's dinner time. And you're able to do that without the game giving you any instructions. Like, it's just like, you feel like you become, you become the character. Like, you become... You just live this guy's life. And you know everything about his life and you just know what to do. Yeah, so he needs to look out of there in case he's like, Jesus, man. Just slurp your fucking casserole. <sighs> that was lovely. Sleepy time. Oh, wait, no. Is it going to get me to do all the boards? Oh, the stove. Okay, I'm forgetting everything, man. I don't see anything weird. I don't think. This is the third time now. I feel like it takes two times to get used to something. And the third time is when they start throwing you off, right? Right. No footsteps this time. <laughs> oh my god, you fucking cunt! What do you want? Who are you? You should give me a heart attack, man! I understood that loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your fucking name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing usual maintenance on the road tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? 
Right, well, we rely on information about the fire sightings. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the tower now, away from you, you stupid mongy. Ah, have a good night, Jack. I hope you sleep well, but remember... Oh, I didn't read it! Fuck's sake! Farewell, Jack. I didn't read what it said. Uh, yeah, he gave out the creepiest vibes because he just randomly showed up out of nowhere outside my door. And he went... That fucking jump scare noise. Anyway, now the tension's sort of built up, it's had a time, time to release. So there's not going to be a second jump scare. Right, right, right. I'm so scared that I'm going to hear some more footsteps like behind me coming up these stairs. Uh, this is Jack. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Uh, ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? Oh, God. <sighs> Just about yesterday. What do you mean? I'm trying to yank my chain now. What do you mean? The radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Oh, God. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. Which is no time soon, according to Mitch. He's gonna be outside my window now. Uh, sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night. Over and out. Okay. I hate the fact that there isn't a board on that window. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. Yeah, no shit. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. Yeah, imagine experiencing all this, knowing that you're gonna have to be here for weeks. Torture. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Oh, PM. Give me a morning. Oh fuck! It's raining. You guys, Jesus. You got a minute? I uh, sh sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Okay. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Updates. Oh, please enter the update package code. <laughs> I got it right. Um, uh, let's just try these. Chikupta. package version. Oh, package code. Four three four six zero eight four. Four three four six zero eight four. Four three four six zero eight four. Four three four six zero oh, eight four five four eight seven. Okay. Your system is now up to date. Okay. Jesus! What does that mean? Oh shit! Time to kill myself. Okay, just accept your fate. Just do it. Just do it. All we need to do is go downstairs, turn on the generator. Kidding me, man. And there's nobody inside! Oh my god. Nobody outside either. Everything's still fine. Everything's still fine. I have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all to worry about. It was getting called a hat to pee. Okay, pee. 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 Now we've peed successfully. Oh, thank fuck it's doing it for me. Oh, one week later. The time scales are jumping. Time is flying by. Yeah, that's what I just said, bro. Uh, Connor's generator was under maintenance, which means I had to cover his area for the past two days. Oh, God. Uh, when there were no fires going, the only thing I'd have to do is check on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Oh, God. Don't be raining. We got another one. Another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one. Garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Why has it gone dead quiet? Why has it gone dead quiet? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Don't take me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Okay. So now I'm by myself. 
great. Which way is fucking west? Oh, that's close. Oh, that's close. Wait, can I use my binoculars? What the fuck? Is that a guy? No, 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 no. I need a camera. I need a camera. I need a camera. Where's my camera? This music's making me stressed out. Where's my... Turn the radio off. I had to check the... Are you kidding me? I'm getting bear spray. Right! I've had enough of this shit! What do you mean? Yes, there is. Jesus Christ. They're going to be looking at me. Okay, they're not. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit! What do I do? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Oh my god. He's gonna be looking through that window. He's gonna be looking through the window. Oh my god, okay, here we go, here we go. I need to run for it, don't I? I need to run for it. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm I'm straping, I'm straping, I'm running. Ah! Go! Go! I hate this fucking noise! I can't really mess up anything, it's getting close to What? Lost Tiger abandoned. What? Should I have hid in the toilet? Could I hide in the toilet? Whatever your name is, I've forgotten what your name is. Help! Shit. Okay. We go. Shit! Shit! Move! Go! Oh my god, what do I do? 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 Get in the van, get in the van. It's so close to me. Oh my shit man! As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove it. Okay, great, 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 great. Out of breath I radioed into alert HQ. Look, Jack, all this, uh, uh, Mitch answered. Uh, next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. Of course, they met no signs of misconduct. No one believed my story, mis dismissing a product of isolation. I have a picture! 
That was the last time I ever set my foot in the eye. Good! The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Oh yeah, so is Jack Sets guy on here for as a voice actor? I wonder. Yeah, employee training VA Jack Sets guy. Uh Oh no, he was the Connor voice actor, I didn't see. Because I think I saw him um, on the Discord server for this game. He put a message out saying any, like, male uh, American voice actors. So, I wonder if Jack Steps guys saw that and, like, asked to be in it. Anyway, that was fucking mad. I think the atmosphere in this one definitely tops the others. I think I, st to be honest, I think I still prefer Carson House, just because, I don't know. I think being outside, it's like, I don't know if anybody can relate to this, but Outlast 1 and Outlast 2. Outlast 1, I think the main parts of that game, if you're playing it for the first time, are scarier than Outlast 2, just because you're inside and you're isolated. It, I don't have claustrophobia or anything, but I think there's just something about like being indoors that's just so, like when you're outside, you it's like you free basically. Like in a real life scenario, like at the end of this game, I would just fucking book it into the trees, and realistically, he's not going to find me because it's pitch black, and you just feel way more like oh, I could just run in any direction and be fine. When you're stuck in like this these small confined areas, like inside your house, and you know the only exit is like downstairs where they might be, there's just so much more fear and so much more anxiety about like going down there but with this you could just run anywhere and you sorted but they did sort of remove some of that when you're in this hut because the only way is like down the stairs and you could have been outside at any second so that was that still had that element but once you're like down there near the bathroom and stuff i, I say that but even when i ran away that it started chasing me and i fucking poop my pants <laughs> but you know what i mean it's like there's this the element of like isolation and being or even just like being somewhere safe like your own house and then suddenly that feels like the main thing that's giving you the fear. I don't know. I think I prefer Cars and Ours, but this definitely has better atmosphere in some parts. And he's definitely getting better at making games, I think. Because this is, I mean, this is so much bigger than Cars and Ours. There's so much, like, larger environments. It's a really cool concept. Yeah. Another banger by Rail. Not much else to say, really. He's a fucking beast of a game developer. And I love that he keeps people up to date in his Discord server. And I love that he's still making games, and I love, I love that they're based on real stories. Like, the fact that he has people, like, um, giving him, like, messages on Reddit, or I don't even know where, but, like, people telling him stories to make games out of. Really cool. Also, it does say, uh, episode 5 coming soon. He's he's making another one, which is really cool. And if you have a story to share, email fears to fathom at gmail.com. So he has, like, an email that you can send over scary stories to. It's so cool. It's such a cool concept, and he fucking delivers every time. Amazing game. But anyway... That's the end of that one. I'm so sorry I couldn't record yesterday. I could have had a video out today, but it's just, you know, I'm busy and stuff. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you in the next one, GDEM. Bye! I'm running.